Hello and welcome! My name is Ashura and this is my Let's Play series of Your Wolf and Sally's Fall. We are playing as Byzantium. And, yeah, so far so good. Um, we got our idea group last time. And I have decided. Um, so, I decided that the first two ideas we're gonna get will be offensive and religious. And of those two, I decided upon religious. So offensive would help us more in wars, but in this first war, we're going to be relying on our allies anyway. So it, offensive is not going to make that big of a, a difference to start with. But in religious, the first thing we get is Deuce Vault, which will give us a permanent castle spell against Ottoman, which means we don't have to worry about claims against him. We can just take any territory for free. Um, which will save us a lot of Diplo points. Um, so that's the one we're gonna get. It also makes us ready to start taking any Muslim land uh, we can get. So uh, we're gonna take that first and hopefully, or probably, we'll be able to get um, Deuce Vault before the next war with him. I think it was still said there was about um, eight years until and uh, we should probably also start building some claims on some of these bigger provinces. Uh, obviously we don't need one on Erdin, but some of these are 10 and 11 developments, so... Oh, poor vintage, that's not nice. So we actually have quite a few money now, so we might as well spend some on some military points. And our ruler is getting really old. 67. Our heir will be of age before he dies, I think. Ooh, Hungary is lacking an heir. How old is their current ruler? He's Oh, he's 17, so there's a pretty good chance that he will get that before. It would be nice to get a PU, though. That would be very nice. So right now our mission is to be friends with Valicia, which will probably happen pretty soon. Ooh, our air got monthly auto autonomy change. That's awesome. Um, let's see. The Renaissance is spreading. Venice has it now. Um, how close are we to getting it? Still quite far away. But as soon as some of these neighbors gets it, when Venice gets it, we do not have a friendly relationship with them. They are hostile because probably because they like they want our stuff. Yeah. So we're probably not gonna get spread from them. We're probably not gonna get it from Naples either. So we're probably gonna have to get it from from Byzantium, or if it spreads to... I don't know. I don't know how we're gonna get it. I don't think... Are you getting it? You are actually getting it from a nearby friendly province. wonder if that's because... Um, they must be counting as friendly. Because that's the only province that's near. And you are getting it. So, it must be counting as friendly. Athens is getting... Because it's above 10. Could spend a couple of points and have these grow faster as well. Um, might be worth it. So we could do 60 military points, 60 military points, that's kind of expensive. Recover Greece. So Eubora. Uh, it's gonna be hard to take though. I think. Uh, protecting up brethren in Plovdiv is more of what we're going for right now. So, um, do I want to spend points on this? Could I get the burgers to be really, really nice first? No, not really. When am I gonna be able to make them happy again? in 13 years. Hmm. 
Well, it might make sense to improve these, the production of them, spend some Diplo points on it. Um, I actually think we're going to be overflowing with military points in five years. So five years of two or three. So we are definitely going to be getting six points. So five years is 360 points. So that's going to be more than enough. So we could spend one. one. It's really tempting. It's really tempting because that would decrease the... If these could grow as fast as some of these other ones. It would decrease the cost of getting it. Let's just do it. Let's just. I'm gonna spend on military in one of them and on diplomatic in one of them. And it means they're growing faster. 71, 69. 66 It might turn up turn out that it's not worth it, but uh, Let's get this military points um, Let's go for the morale of armies guy It's kind of a waste hiring the other guy he didn't have that for him for very long Um, oh, we have enough to build on you, fabricated claim. And it means we can now build spy network on the Ottoman. And we should actually be able to fabricate a claim on you. Let's take one on Crete. Getting a good number of claims build up. So clergy has 71 still, that's good. And the burgers, ooh, oh, that's... This should have been before we use those points, because this is going to make them happy, which is going to make development cheaper. But I couldn't have known that. Well, we're definitely going to take this. Trade efficiency. And we can we can live with the influence gain, so um, definitely gotta take this. Gotta make them happy, and we can't really even get anything from them because, yeah, that was that was bad. We could have saved. Yeah, we could have. Okay, so it's like five points or something like that. But still, that's ten points. Points are points, man. So, Austria, would you be willing to be my ally at any point soon? It's not impossible. Um, let's end this guarantee and start working on some relationship over here. So, how are we doing on our whole? We could get actually support one more. So how is our economy looking? This will be another militia, I think. How much improvement can we get? Not that much. Uh, Armor with a hundred tradition. That is a lot. I think I think we have to take that. Like the legitimacy gain, l l loss will disappear as soon as he dies, and the prestige is annoying. But we'll get that back at some point in the future. Um, and now we have a hundred. Wow. 
I'm in love. Five, four, four, four. That's wow. Ooh, that tingles. That, that, that tingles a special place. Oh my god. Well, we're definitely not gonna inherit anyone now with this low prestige, but um, I still feel that if he's gonna survive until this war, that's definitely worth it. I'm just gonna double check my message settings that we are pausing on the end of uh, truce. Truce ends with another nation. It's a pop up and pause. Good. So once the truce with Ottoman is over, we will know right away. Um, the only other re thing we could go for is prop. Like if Ottoman, uh, if Winners gets attacked, then we could probably sneak out roads. But no, Valicia, I don't want an alliance with you. I might be willing to take one with you if you changed your mind about the whole vassalization thing. Because then I could feed you Serbia and stuff. What well, Albania, what what land would you actually... So you would own this. This would kind of be yours and I could give that to you. The thing is, I need to be... Maybe once we win the first war, or the next war against Ottoman, we'll be big enough to vassalize him. We'll have to see. That'd be very nice. I have enough for a claim against Ottoman now. Um, let's take Sofia. And then Burgas here is 10. Silistria is 14, probably take that first. Uh, I want to take all of the Orthodox land first if I can. And I think we can almost, I think we need a little bit more we call, yeah we need 30 here so we can take the last claim against them. And I might as well call this guy back and top up some relations here. Um Oh that's so close. So basically the only reason we can't get this is because of the annexed subjects penalty. When is that going away? Oh in six years. Do we have that other guy no we even have we don't have that guy available, so well we can get an alliance with Austria pretty soon. Um, and I think we'll definitely be going for that. So, oh, do you know I actually see the this, which is the one I need from autumn or for the for the um, Basilius achievement, if I remember correctly. Let's check. Yes, I need Kaffa and I need Theodoro, which is both controlled by Ottoman at this point. So, um, oh, I don't even need to go to war with Genoa bef before taking this land over here, but... Ooh, and they paid to get them in made into a vassal instead of a march. Interesting. How are their power doing? Ottoman now has 30,000 troops. Still most of them mercenaries, but... Okay, Poland is really low. Um, Albania. The Albania question. Well, I do think I will be able to vassalize them once I grow. Definitely gonna take this. So, um, let's just take that alliance. If it turns out it's not enough to take all this land from Ottoman, I can always just get rid of him again. 
Oh, we gained the castle's belly. It's not because we can attack him yet. Um, let's wait on the royal marriage. But we will definitely improve relations. Two reasons to wait for the royal marriage. First of all, in case we don't aren't able to vassalize him, I wanna I don't wanna have a permanent relationship. I wanna be able to attack him. And second of all, um, we can use that royal. Wow, that's a nice air. Five, four, six. Wow, 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 wow. wow. Well, uh, that's worth a stability. Ooh, you are a beautiful man. Beautiful, beautiful. Alexios, you're my new hero. So, Hungary needs 2,000 manpower. Yeah, let's just give them that. I f probably need to boost my stability once I have uh, the points. Unfortunately. Well, it's not pressing. What are we losing? We're losing trade powers. National unrest, interest, legitimacy. Oh, we're losing legitimacy, so we have to remove it. Has life of oceans already had that one. But that was a really nice air we got there. That was so sweet. So how far are we away from this truce ending? 67. They are allied with Tunis now though. Well, there's no reason to improve with you if you're already at 200. Well, how much above 200 are you? Let's just improve a little bit more. And let's get one more. Let's get a claim on Celestria. Again, there's no reason to have them hanging uh, together because we can get everything via the cursor spell we have. Burgers, Admiral, got away. Um, ask for contribution. Should we grant them another? Add more. That will get them to 60... 76. And then we can grab a bunch of money. That would take them to 60... 71, right? Let's just take the Admiral and then grab... 83.3 ducats. And I'm gonna get rid of this new admiral. Now nah, let's just let's just take the new one so we have him for as long as possible. Even though this one is a little bit better for trade, um, I would just make sure that I have an admiral for longer. So close. Let's improve with Poland instead. We're getting close to being able to go to war again. Court factions influence ruler. Losing admin points, that was not nice. We want to boost that stability as soon as we can. Long time rivals. Uh, we can't embark you, can we? Even though we won the war, no, because we had a truce. Should we buy some churches, maybe? Let's do that. That seems like a good idea. Investing in the future. And let's just boost our stability now. And we're actually making quite a lot of money now. Uh, we can't quite pay for our army, but 
Well, how much of that is actually reinforcements? We're close to being able to pay for our army. But we will probably have to fire an advisor uh, when we go to... Uh, depends on how big our war chest is. Let's make sure we have some money in reserve. How far are we away? We're still... Still f two years away. So I think probably in the next video we'll be able. Hungary is still not... don't have an air, but a chance of them dying before they get an air is not too great. Plus we need higher prestige than that before that, so that's also a while away. Soon enough to do another claim here at 35. But I think I'm gonna end this episode here. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did something, like button subscribing. Hope to see you next time and then until then have a good day.